This is the code demo of the union concept. Let us say I declare a union with the blueprint name called as workpad. It's got name, eight characters width, float, wealth, and rule number as an integer data type. Now, normally if you had a structure, the size would be eight plus four plus four, that would be 16 bytes. But in a union, the size of a union is the size of the largest member. What is the largest member here? Name is eight. So the size of this particular union is going to be eight bytes. I am assuming wealth and roll number are both four bytes each on this particular machine and name each character occupies a single byte. In order to understand this particular concept well, let us try to run through this particular program. I have declared a temp variable which is of the type union workpad. That means temp has the members name, wealth and roll number. The thing in the union you need to understand very clearly is at any given point of time, at the most one member is active or only one member can be used meaningfully. Suppose I have given name as some name, I can't use wealth and roll number at the same time because union represents the same memory location. So if I give name as say Ram and I try to use wealth and roll number, you will get garbage values on your screen. So what we'll do is in order to understand this particular program, let us try to run this piece of code, play around a bit and then I'll do the explanation. So what I'm going to do here is let's try to execute this particular piece of code. We'll go line by line. First thing, the size of the union. If you see size is showing as eight bytes because the largest member name happens to be eight bytes. Now what I have done is I have made roll number as 50. So when I try to make roll number as 50 and if I print roll number, wealth and name, you'll see only the value in roll number is meaningful. The value in wealth and name is meaningless because at this point of time, only roll number is active. Wealth and name are inactive or do not have meaningful values or do not represent meaningful values because they're reading from the same memory location. Now what we can do is we can change this wealth to 100.99 and let's comment out this chap here. Okay. Now if you see wealth is active. All right. So you will see garbage being printed in roll number and name. So here it is name garbage wealth is meaningful again roll number is again certain garbage values so you should be careful to keep track of which is active and which is not active now i will show you the other problem also let's only make the name active let's copy arjun into this temp.name and you will see the name being printed as arjun but roll number and wealth will represent garbage values because you are reading from the same memory location and trying to interpret Arjun as a float or an int or what it is. So Arjun as a name is meaningful. But when you try to interpret Arjun as a float, it gives you this garbage. When you try to in interpret Arjun as a roll number, it gives you this particular garbage. So the moral of the story when you're using unions is at any given point of time, only one member is active or can be made active and contains meaningful data. The other one or more members are going to contain garbage values because that same memory location can represent only one type of data meaningfully.